Hello and welcome back to the channel. If you're new, this channel focuses on the ins and outs of living abroad in the beautiful country of Poland. Now for today's video, I want to talk about the real reality of living in Poland. Let's get started. This video is for all the people that had negative things to say about Poland before I moved to Poland. And I guess this video is more so for Polish people. For whatever reason, people in the world have this really negative view of Poland. And like I just said, that's not just people who've never been to Poland, that's from people who actually live in the country. And for this video, I want to debunk that belief because when you really start looking at Poland, and if you live in Poland like I do, it is not anywhere near some countries that should have their stuff together. So Poland is not far behind, and in some areas it's actually ahead of other developed countries in Europe and in the world as a whole. Now I understand a lot of times when people, specifically people who live in Europe, and people who have actually been to Poland, and people who have been to Poland, but not just for vacation, but have done business in Poland, or have are Polish and have family in Poland, or actually live in Poland, your perception of the country obviously is gonna be a little bit different. If, if you live in Poland, and then you go visit maybe Germany, or you visit other countries in the EU, maybe some of the Northern countries in Europe, then obviously your perspective of Poland is gonna be a bit different than say your perspective of Poland if you are from USA, or if you are from Canada or Australia, or if you're from like South America or Central America. You know, the perception of this country is totally relative to one, having lived in this country and having the experience of being in other neighboring countries. With that said, even with knowing that your perception of a country is gonna be relative, it's also going to be relative to specific factors that happen in a country. So for instance, Poland is a conservative country. However, if you think about Poland as a conservative country and then you compare that to the USA that people deem as a liberal country or more liberal country, the, con the conservativeness here in Poland is way more liberal than the conservativeness in America. And so with that said, if you were comparing the USA to Poland, you could arguably say that Poland as a whole is much more liberal than the USA. So when you start to put that in perspective, then it's really hard to compare, let's say Poland to the USA or Poland to some other countries. Now with that in mind, we can kind of say that we can compare Poland to some of its neighboring countries or Poland to Western Europe. Now, Poland, if we looked at it from that context, we could say that Poland is more conservative than Germany in a lot of aspects. Our Poland is definitely more conservative than the Czech Republic. But even when you start to look at that, yeah, it's more conservative, but that doesn't necessarily mean that people or specifically people of color or foreign people are gonna feel any more safe in Poland than they would in Germany, or they're gonna feel less included in society um, when we start compare that to Germany and Poland. In fact, as a foreigner and as a person who has spent a great deal of time in Germany, um, I can't say that I felt safer in Germany than I do in Poland. In fact, my experiences in Germany have been tainted by being harassed, not by like the central police or by like the city police, but by the train police. And I've said that in other another video that um, here in Poland, I've never been harassed by like the 
the police or the security that patrol the trains. However, in Germany, I've been ID'd maybe four or five times in Germany when I was just standing on the platform. So I'm not sure if that was that IDing was because of race or that idea IDing was because of my perceived ethnicity. However, it was happening. And people might say, well, maybe the ID was having to keep the train station safe. And I would argue not really, because unless I was engaged in some activity or behavior that seems suspicious, IDing me, identifying me doesn't keep the train station safe. So here's Germany that is known to be this more liberal country and Poland that's known to be this more conservative country. And yet it's even hard to compare aspects of the country, even with those two factors in mind. I also think that when we think about Polish people and how I'm always asked, why Poland? You know, that question has never went away. And people, when they find out I'm from Los Angeles, they their minds are blown. They're like, why would you trade in Los Angeles for Poland? And there are a lot of reasons. I have several videos explaining like Poland, the economic situation here, or my personal economic situation here, and some of the opportunities that living in Poland has afforded me or has allowed me to engage in that I wouldn't have been able to do that in Los Angeles. So I explained that in several videos. If you go through the different videos, you'll be able to find five or six videos kind of explain why I'm here in Poland and what are some of the benefits of being here. But I think that people or Polish people who live here or even people maybe across Europe, their idea of Poland is tainted by history. The idea of Poland is tainted by, by some recent history of Poland and some of the past history of Poland. And Poland hasn't been able to kind of shake that identity that it was formed due to some of the historical things that have happened here in the, in the country. I have to say that out of all of the countries that um, are not part of what we could call the Eastern Bloc, Poland is actually economically the strongest one. So it's interesting that when we look at Poland in like Western media, or when people personally talk about Poland, they kind of refer to it slightly as like the pits of hell in Europe almost. And in reality, Poland is doing quite well economically. However, you don't need to believe me and you shouldn't believe me. You should, if you're interested in Poland, if you're interested in moving in the country, if you're Polish, you have to kind of start looking at the statistics. Now I've looked at an index of Poland Connor ranking specifically with the USA because I'm from the USA. But when I looked at those different rankings, Poland is for most factors. So for most rankings on that particular index, it's above average. And not even that, it's on par with its neighbors. It's on par with most of the countries throughout Eastern Europe and it may be slightly behind, but so is the majority of Western Europe when we think about the Scandinavian countries. So Poland is not far behind or is on par with all its neighbors. And that comes down to economic factors. And it also comes down to safety. And also that boils down to the quality of life here in Poland. Now, just to throw a statistic out that I thought was really interesting and I heard it some months ago and it was burnt into the back of my mind and then I decided okay maybe I, I need to look it up. So for solo female travelers Poland is ranked 10th in the whole world. So it is safer for Statistically, it is safer for a female to travel alone in Poland than it is in the UK, than it is in Spain, Italy, the U or the USA. So that really tells you something about a country 
when women can travel here alone and not have any issues? Well, I can't jump to gun because on that list, most of that list is dominated by other European countries, but Poland ranks 10. So that shows you that it is not this scary, bad, underdeveloped place um, in Europe. One big thing about Poland is that it is a conservative country. And one aspect that which makes Poland conservative is that it is really tied to its traditions and its traditions are really tied to the religion here. Um, and therefore, if you live here, you know, even if you don't celebrate a lot of the holidays that correlate with religion, it's going to be in your face. And a lot of things on media and TV are tied intrinsically to religion. In addition, Poland is a country that values families. And, you know, and when we think of family, the idea or concept of family in Poland is a nuclear family and a traditional family. And when I say traditional family, I mean like, you know, a mother, a father. Um, I'm not even going beyond the realms of a mother and father, even though traditional families... Um, or non-traditional families can look any way. But here in Poland, like it's common for like a mom and dad to be married versus in other countries, it's not uncommon for, you know, parents to have a divorce and then like kids have like half brothers, um, half siblings or step siblings. In Poland, that's becoming more common. However, it is not really the norm here. In addition to that, most people in Poland are in a relationship. And so if you're a person who is really happy being single and you're not looking for a relationship or you're not looking to kind of start a family, Poland is probably not the best country for you. But even with that said, it doesn't mean just because Poland has these specific ideals. And I'm not saying that I agree with these specific ideals or with these specific concepts. However, it is not a bad country. It is not an unsafe country, unsafe country, sorry. If it was an unsafe country, I wouldn't be here. Um, you know, I come from the USA. I have mentioned in several of my videos that living in the USA, I have felt unsafe more so in the USA than I have ever felt here in Poland. And that has to that has to mean something. That has to count for something. In closing, because I don't want this video to be super long, if you're Polish, have you need to grow to have an appreciation for Poland. Like it, it is necessary. I'm not saying that you need to be, you know, patriotic. There's no need to do that. But Poland has produced some amazing people. Poland is doing some great things with its economy. And the I think that it's just not getting the reputation or it's not getting the respect or it's not getting the, the represent, representation that it deserves or what it really is like. Now you're probably thinking, Peter, oh my God, what about the war in Ukraine? Um, Poland is right next door. A lot of refugees from the Ukraine have come here. Um, Poland is very close to Russia. Um, I have to say with that, with that issue, with that, what is going on with that issue is that Poland is no more under fire than the rest of Europe and the rest of the world. Um, it's just no more in fire. It, 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 obviously, the war is impacting Poland economically to some degree. It's going to impact Poland socially. Um, when you have people coming from other country, another country, even if they share a similar religion, even if they share a similar culture, even if they look like you, there's going to be some social duress. There's going to be some problems. It's not going to be all, you know, roses and daisies. So Poland is going to 
change from this issue. Um, and there already are changes that are occurring. But even with that all happening, Poland is nowhere in a position or in a bad position in other countries in the EU uh, when it comes to the war. So don't let the, the idea of the war taint your view of this country. Definitely, when you're looking at things, you have to really look at factual things, but you also have to really just kind of use your common sense and, and kind of think about what's going on in the country before forming an opinion. Anyhow, if you like this kind of content, go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button. And I definitely can't wait to see you next week.